Good morning everyone and welcome to Exploration Day 6 of the Pikmin 3 No Death Run. I am Multigame Master 1 and today we're going to explore more of the distant tundra. Let's go! We've still yet to find Captain Charlie as well as more fruit if possible, which is why we're going back to the area today to investigate some more. Juice left 10, go here is convenient for gathering up any wayward Pikmin. Snowy day today, that's fine, we can still move around. Now, to get things started, I'm going to summon all of these guys at once. These should be good amounts for each color. Alright, let's move out. So, the next area we're going to investigate today here in the distant tundra is the cave that we opened up yesterday. I strongly suspect that that'll get us one step closer to Captain Charlie. By the way, if you guys see me pausing in movements, that's to make sure that the Leaf Pikmin keep up with me. I don't want any of those guys being left behind. Hopefully there's a way that we can fully mature these guys into flowers so that they can increase their speed. Snow mound right here, by the way, that I missed yesterday. There is a yellow one pellet in there, but I'll just have the yellow Pikmin dig that up anyway. Meanwhile, in this cave, we have some pyroclasmic sluches to deal with. Let's get the red Pikmin ready for battle. Brittany, handle the rest, please. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Uh, don't you even think about it. Don't... Why the fudge would you wander your tail into water if you knew that it would douse you and make you completely vulnerable, you stupid idiot? You're gonna die for that. Get him, Red Pigman. Idiot. Let's get this one next. Sheesh. These bugs have no brains. Oh well. All the more reason to insult them and kill them. Weakling. Okay, let's start getting the spoils back, starting with these. Okay, next. Brittany, investigate the area further up ahead, if you please. Electric sparks up ahead. This is the job for the yellow pigment. There we go. We have our electric surge, and now... Let there be light. Well, that's interesting. The strong light causes it to bloom. That's very fascinating indeed. We'll check that out in a second. Right now, we have these crystals over here to shatter. Go, Pikmin. Alf, in the meantime, will handle the rest. The yellow Pikmin, of course. Is what I mean to say. Data file. Pikminology number 12. Throw Pikmin into a candy pop bud and they will change color. I'm not going to make use of this throughout the series, if I'll be honest with you, unless if it's absolutely necessary, because I, myself, don't have a particular use for them. Right, let's toss the yellow Pikmin up there, to the orange. There we go. The Pikmin up ahead should be coming by with spoils. Indeed they are. Drop that please. Have that go to the reds. Alright, let's move on further on ahead. Carry that back. Alright, what's further up ahead? Oh god, we have these enemies, desiccated skitter leaves. They are far different from regular skitter leaves. Let's kill him. Fall back. Get wrecked. Yeah. These bugs are really annoying to deal with because they move so quickly. And every time they grab their hands on the Pikmin, they just eat them within a second. Very annoying. Someone's been through here. Indeed. And that someone must have been the captain. We have eggs right here that have some nectar. And every time the Pikmin drink the nectar, they mature into flowers just like that. A flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them. Pikminology number 13. When Pikmin consume nectar, they blossom into flower Pikmin. Get your fill, guys. Go on. I think the maximum amount of Pikmin that can consume a drop of nectar, by the way, is 10. But I'm not 100% certain about that. But it is something to note. Oh, Fiverr. This will go with the Rock Pikmin.
There we go. Alright, you guys can carry that back. Arctic Cannon Larva over there. Do you suppose this is where the captain crash landed? I believe so. Kill this beast. There we go. Everyone okay? Um, Brittany? Could you do me a favor and make your way back here? Because there appears to be a rock pigment stuck there. Thank you. Meanwhile... We'll carry that back with the rock pigment. We'll have five reds dig here on this... Actually, no, not that one. Five red pigment on this snow mound. Five yellows on this one. Or more, that's fine. And the rest can focus on this one. I'll go ahead and disband the group here. Alright. While they do that, I'm going to grab this data file over here. To the survivors, looks like someone took a tumble here in the fresh snow. Perhaps someone else is stranded here. If anyone is reading this, there are several electrical contraptions in this area. I've buried something here in the snow. Hopefully it's useful. Captain Olimar. Thanks, Captain Olimar, wherever you are. Going back here, there is indeed a rock pigment stuck. Let's help him out. There we go. Brittany, you may as well go back to base and assist the other pigment. Ah, look at that. We have another power-up in the Gashapon capsule. Hey, what's this thing? It looks really familiar somehow. Let's get it back to the Drake so I can analyze it a little more closely. Alright. Um, could I ask you guys to stay with me? Thanks. Alright, so let's gather the squad together. This should be enough Pikmin to tackle the next area up ahead, which we will investigate right now. Safe travels, guys. Be careful. Alright, let's go through here. Hmm. Now that I think about it, this is the same path that Charlie took. Which means he's gotta be up ahead. New enemies over there, those are Foss Bats. They are vulnerable to the light. So they grow weak whenever they bathe themselves in the light. There's still a couple left. We should deal with them. It really does suck that these guys are in the way. You guys died too. There. What's that I'm sensing? You sent something, Elf? Oh, I see a shadow. That's not good. Let's bring a little more light into this place. Light! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the next boss of the game, the Behemoth Fossbat. And apparently it's flying away. What was that thing? The Copat radar picked up a life sign, but could it be that thing got the captain? That's certainly within the realm of possibilities. Fossbat pot right here. Should give us something. Delicious nectar. Lovely. Okay, we've hit noon. We need to get moving. Climbing stick right here. We'll have the pavement construct that so that they can reach the red grapes up there. I don't see what's red about them, by the way. They look purple. I bet even the juices are purple. Well, we'll just take it back anyway. Wow, look at how fast those Pikmin move. It's great to have Flower Pikmin on our side. And also, the Pikmin's ability for selfless devotion. Okay, careful. Data file right here. Vehemoth Fossbat number one. The Vehemoth Fossbat hates the light. So that's why it flew away. 
That's good to know. Analyzing. We're receiving a transmission from the Drake. This isn't really a good time. Analyzing recover item. Analyzing. Analysis complete anti electric fire. This undergarment makes any spacesuit electricity resistant. Come to think of it, I think they had these as optional extras in the spacesuit shop on Kopai. Oh, it's even got an instruction manual with it. I'll save it in the expiration notes. Anti electrifier prevents you from getting zapped. Nice. Great! Now I can touch whatever I want without getting electrocuted. And you'll also have a nice tingling sensation. I hope the captain's okay. I better check the radar. That's a good idea, Alf, but I think the first thing we should do is get the heck out of here. Because this place is dark and spooky. There's the way out up ahead. We'll check this area out in a moment. Right now we have this paper bag here that 10 Pikmin can push. This will ultimately activate a shortcut. Go on, Pikmin, push it. Push it. Push it real good. There you go. Shortcut is now activated, which means now we won't have to take the long way around. Let's go ahead and meet up with our squad. Come on, guys. Here come the Pikmin that were in charge of the grapes. Let's get these guys together. This should account for everyone. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Here come one of the Pikmin with the last grape. I was starting to become very concerned. Thought he may have gotten stuck somewhere and he was lost. But that doesn't appear to be the case. He's fine. Right, so that accounts for everyone. Let's go back into the cave. Because I suspect that there are still a couple more things that we can do. Let's go, guys. Keep up. Okay, so before we get things started, I've actually noticed some phosphat pods in here. Oh, God. Don't even think about it. Data file. Vehemoth Phosphat number two, take refuge in brightly lit areas. Right. So as I was saying earlier, um, in this cave, there are some nests that we can destroy right away. And it's recommended that you do that so that you can avoid complications later. Let's see, do we have some nectar? Yeah, we do. Help yourselves, guys. But do it quickly. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Oh god, this is terrifying. Um, yeah, Ness. Actually, you know what? We should damage that guy. Come on. Get out of the way. Yeah, that's what you get. Of course, you're stuck up there, so I can't attack you. I'm detecting a power surge. This is a job for the yellow Pikmin. That's fine. I mean, as long as that guy stays off of our back. Okay, so I believe we took out two nests so far out of five. I don't think it likes the light. Ow! You just discovered that in the exploration notes that we recovered. Do you not remember? Okay, three nests down. And a couple more to go. There's one over there. It is really hard to see in here, by the way. That's the fourth one. Pikmin, get out of the way! Okay. So, four nests down. Where's the next one? Here's the fifth one. That's the last one, unless there's more. There is more over there. Okay, so there are seven in here total. Um, we're gonna have to pull off some teamwork. Wait, 
Brittany, where are you? Oh, there she is. She's right next to us. Doi. Um. Brittany, come over here. We need some teamwork. Oh, boy. Seriously, this guy is freaking annoying. Right, so we're gonna get it closer to the darkness, and then we'll make our move. But first, these nests to destroy. Oh boy. Oh! Okay, you know what? You're a nuisance. You need to go down now. Kill it. Go. Okay, we got an opening. Hit it hard. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh no! I better call them with my whistle. Destroy this nest, quickly. There. Alright. Let's see if there are more of those that we can power up. We'll get the creature closer to us, and then we'll unleash our move. Here it comes. A little closer. Quickly. Nice try. Kill it. Go, 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 go. Okay, um, I think that's everything we're going to do for today, so let's make our way out of here. After we smash the crystal. Alright, Vahima Fossbat, you live for now, but tomorrow, you're as good as dead. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, that was quite a terrifying experience. Just having to go through all of that while constantly having a Vahima Fossbat on your tail. Trying to get all of the Pikmin. Maybe even the Captains. But it's alright. Because tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow morning, that Vahima Fossbat is as good as dead. Oh boy, what a day it has been. What a terrifying experience. But at least we made it out okay. And we got some more fruit in the process, as well as more Pikmin. So that's good. I can't wait to taste a new fruit! Citrus Lump, our orange. Fill it up real good. That's another container for us. Juice me, baby! Okay, that's probably the very last time that I'm going to say that. It sounds so lame when I say it. Dusk pustules. Seriously, those grapes are purple. And even the juice is purple. I'm definitely missing something here. You got 10 types of fruit. Nicely done. Having analyzed several different types of fruit, we are now able to triangulate fruity position. We can now use our radar to locate fruit. Excellent. That is very useful. I can't wait to experiment with it tomorrow. Knowing this is waiting at the end of the day makes it all worth it. If only I didn't have to share it with the others. Brittany, don't you start getting greedy now. Remember, the provisions have to be divided equally amongst all crew members. Keep that in mind. Everyone has to survive, including the Pikmin. Although they don't need fruit, but you get it. And that ends day six. Our progress, we are doing exceptionally well. Day 6. We were hot on the trail of the Captain's signal when we encountered a second monstrous creature. It was too dark to get a good look at it, but might this creature hold a clue to the Captain's whereabouts? Ow! I don't know, but first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna kill that creature and find out. Saving. Game is now saved. And with that, 
Day 6 has ended so it's time to end our exploration for now. On Day 7, we are going to tackle the Behemoth Fossbat and see what we can do to rescue Captain Charlie. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button down below if you did. I am Ultigame Master one and I will see you guys on Exploration Day 7 of the Pikmin 3 No Death Run. Have a good night!